I've come to the headquarters of Intertech, a commercial design company with over 20 years of experience. They specialize in exterior and interior design, from showrooms to architectural new build. What interests me, though, is the revolutionary way they do it. This building, for example, actually gives back more than it takes. This building has a combination of showroom, ordinary offices and high-end design offices with, with big computers. And yet, on average, the total power output of the building is less than four kilowatts. That's hardly more than you'd use by boiling a kettle. How do they do it when they've got more than 2,000 light fittings? The answer is by using LEDs. Just look at this. This is incredibly bright. And yet, it's only 18 watts. What's more, it's cold. Look, I'm not burning my hand on that. And you can turn these off and on as often as you like. You don't have to keep it on all day, even when you've got no customers in the showroom. Have a look at these two. This one is the conventional quartz halogen lamp. 50 watts, very hot. This is the equivalent LED. Five watts, same light output, cold far, far cheaper to run. LEDs are the future. Display advertising always looks better under LEDs. And what's more, the bulbs last a whole lot longer. There's no point whatever in having the lights on when there's no customers in the shop. But whatever retail environment you've got, it's always going to look better if the lighting interacts with the customer. Just think how much money you'd save if all the lights went off in parts of the building when there was nobody there. Look at this corridor, for example. At the moment, it's lit by only eight watts, which is enough for building regs, but watch what happens when I walk into it. Suddenly, the lights come on, switched on by the sensor, and now we're running at 70 watts. Still not much for a 15-meter corridor. And when I go out of the corridor, watch what happens. And now, we're back to 8 watts. This is a typical retail space of maybe 1,000 square feet, and yet it's being lit by only 1.4 kilowatts, which in practical terms means it's going to cost less than £2 a day. LEDs give you a much better working environment. Just listen. There's none of that normal background hum. In fact, it's so quiet in this office, you can even hear a pin drop. Listen. Isn't that amazing? But it's not just the lighting. This whole building is packed with innovation. Innovation to save energy and money. And whether it's a new build or a retrofit, the team here are poised to help you to make it a better place to work, better for the environment and better for your pocket. This is still an experimental building. For example, here, the wall's really quite cold, but here, it feels much warmer. And that's because they're using a different type of insulation, because they want to avoid wasting energy and indeed money by throwing it into the environment. Another neat idea they don't insulate the internal hot water pipes. So they don't need many radiators, and yet the heat is rapidly transferred around the building. They'll also give you practical information about the siting of your building. Here, for example, they're carefully arranged for all the offices to face north, so that the inhabitants didn't roast like tomatoes in the summer. This building is on three floors, but has no air conditioning. What they've done is to take an idea from ancient Arab architecture and create what's called passive convection. You can use this either on new build or on existing buildings. And the point is to create a natural airflow 
which will keep the entire building cool in the summer and warm in the winter. How do they get their energy? Well, it's almost all renewable. Up on the roof, there's a great array of solar panels generating a maximum of 10 kilowatts. Let's see what they're doing now. Two kilowatts from a third of them at this moment. And then outside, they get a lot more electricity from a couple of wind turbines. And the great thing about these is they're vertical axis ones and they are virtually silent. There's been a lot of controversy about wind turbines. Most of them make a lot of noise when they go round. Well, these ones are virtually silent, and this produces up to seven and a half megawatt hours of electricity every year. Fantastic. The wind turbines generate direct current electricity. That comes down to these inverters, these converted to alternating current, and that can go to the grid. And these wind turbines have been so successful that in the next phase they're going to build 20 of them to make a micro wind farm on the land next door. One of the very neat things they do here is collect the rainwater. I'm up on the third floor and it's collected off the roof and taken down into these tanks. It can't overflow and flood the building because there's an overflow system at the back. But the point is, from here, gravity feeds it all the way down to flush all the toilets and so on. And because it's gravity fed, they're not wasting electricity to pump it about and it doesn't get stirred up all the time. And so this water is quite astonishingly clean. Just look at that. Amazing. This place is an absolute Aladdin's cave of innovation. We've only been able to scratch the surface in this little film. If you want to hear about their other ideas, you're going to have to come and see for yourself.